you know, would you be a little bit frustrated that, um, you know, she, you felt that she had so much more to give and she yeah. sort of held back for two rounds. Why didn't she get, get involved a lot earlier? I think she's just a very cautious athlete Ladies and um, she she's only know which had a tighter defence, harder to get through and I think that's really deterred her from doing it. But I think really looking at the semi-finals, I think the Korean really could have done more. In the WTS Olympic ranking number 25. So here's Jacqueline Sanchez of the United States. This is the female heavyweight category. She had a great semi final win, more of which in a second. First of all, her opponent. Lee Dong from China in the WTS Olympic ranking. Number 14. Lee Dong of China. Those are her results. A convincing semi final win, 9 to 1. Uh, some very good wins in the earlier rounds. A quarter final win over Milan Mandic, the world number three, by 1 to 0. Here's the road to the final for Jacqueline Sanchez. And uh, actually, fairly comfortable, but there was the big one. Lee Ing Jong. She beat the world number six in that semi final. Our referee for the final from France, Serge Sembona. The heavyweight female final of the Grand Prix Series number two here in Astana, Kazakhstan. And away we go. Well, Mike, it's been a great evening so far. We've uh, we've had all different kinds of bouts. We've had a, a few nil-nils and we've had a few high-scoring ones. Now, this category, semi-finals uh, here, the uh, Korean wasn't really... Uh, sorry, the Chinese Thanks. athlete Lee wasn't really pushed too hard at all. And Sanchez, of course, had a tremendous victory in her semi-final. This is a great opportunity for Sanchez. World ranked number 25, with uh, Dong Hua ranked number 14. So. An amazing opportunity for both athletes to really seriously improve their ranking. Absolutely, yeah. They'll pick up a lot of points if they win this final. Um, I think the Americans got a little bit more of an aggressive style. She's going to look for more points. She's going to come in more. Got to be a little bit more cautious in this final because I think the Chinese girl's capable of taking those headshots and going up there. Yeah. But, you know. Well, we saw Jacqueline Sanchez that she, she, she's got a very good defence. Yeah. And she's more than happy to, to spray her arms in all directions to stop that attack from... Her opponent and she used it well in her semi final. And here we are, nil nil, very early days. Final bout of the competition for these two, so nothing to leave. Again, use every bit of energy out on the ring. Of course, uh, it is a ring now. Of course, for those of you who uh, haven't seen Taekwondo for a little while, used to be a square. Athletes used to get stuck in the corner. I'm a massive fan of this octagon that they're uh, competing. You can see it there from above. And uh, it really is, you know, you don't get the, the, you know, the athlete caught in the corner and, and a big guy bullying you out of the ring. Now it's, you, you're able to get away and get out of those situations. Actually, I think it engages, the athletes have to be engaged more. There's less surface area for them to be competing on. Yeah. Um, you know, so the, 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 the octagonal design is geared towards in, encouraging action. So nil-nil after the end of the first period, and uh, no particular uh, sort of scoring opportunity either way was there. Nobody really made a serious move there. I think the American will be pleased because she hasn't given any points away to China. Um, I think again we're going to see the action in the last round. Yeah. Unless the American sort of steps up towards the end of the second round, I think it will all come at the end. Tomorrow we've got three more categories, the female minus 67, the male minus 58, which is the lightest category for the males, and uh, the male minus 80 kilogram competition. So, the, uh, and of course the male minus 80 kilogram competition is, uh, is pretty, pretty heavy. Just looking at the entry list and of course, uh, there was some very uh, 
Everybody thinks of Aaron Cook and uh, Mohamed Lutaila, uh, Lutaila Mohamed. But at the end of the day, um, you know, there's some incredible athletes in there. I was looking in China at the list, and Steven Lopez, five times world champion, and you know, all the way through, you know, Motomed Bagheri, yeah. people who've won major events in the past. Yeah, the minus eight is a phenomenal category. And I think that you're looking at, you know, Steve Lopez, outstanding player, maybe past his prime, but or a prime, you know, I, I yeah. first saw him as a junior in 1996 at the first ever junior world championships, which he won. And he's just gone on from since then. So back to this, and uh, that's all tomorrow. So we'll join you for that tomorrow. But so far, China versus USA, two superpowers in more than one word, more than one way. And uh, at the moment, not particularly super scoring going on. Just cancelling each other out a little bit there. But you sense that um, Jacqueline Sanchez here, just uh, she's just got a little bit more involved in the second period. She's leading the attacks a little bit more than she was in period one. I think she is, but I think she's looking for things. She's looking for openings and opportunities, and trying to rather than trying to create them. And I think the Chinese girl is probably analysing and attacking style a little bit. Yeah. Oh, they oh! <laughs> proven completely wrong with the headshot by the American. <laughs> <laughs> the headshot. Where did that come from? Off the front leg there, really fast. Yeah. Completely caught. Lee Dong Hua by surprise here. And now with Sanchez's defence, we've seen this already. Sanchez has a tremendous defence. And this is the fascinating thing to look out for at home, for all you viewers at home. This defence that Sanchez has. We've already seen the world number six not being able to really get through it. And earlier, headshot again from Sanchez. She's, she's firing on all cylinders here. 30 seconds to go. Second period. Now, it's nice to have that lead of 3-0, but it is one kick. And I think yeah. the Chinese girl is more than capable of bringing that back. Uh, Sanchez's defence has held so strong. And so far, Lee Dong Hua hasn't found the way through. It has not looked like finding the way through either. <laughs> Trying to head kick there, but Sanchez just moves aside. Oh, beautiful nice defence. Good defence covered it. Unbelievable defence from Jacqueline Sanchez. She really is absolutely on fire at the moment. That last move in particular, I hope we do get to see a replay of that. She moved aside on one kick, she blocked another kick, and then she blocked a third yep. attempt at the head. And, and you know, the, she's doing this in real time. You know, this is incredible, incredible speed. There's the head kick. And, uh, and of course, she scored a similar head kick before, didn't she? She, did, did, yes, she nearly yeah, removed yeah. the mask off uh, the Korean girl, and so she beat in the semi final. Very similar move that was. It was great timing and a very brave move, and it was excellent. Yeah. Like I said, she was trying to look for the openings, but it was there, and she stole that point. She stole yeah. the head kick, simple as that. And, and, you know, this is where we're seeing a great defensive uh, sort of exhibition here from Sanchez. Like, you know, from a coach's point of view, your defense is, a, you know, is a that's just oh, as important yeah. as your yeah. attack. And she's actually, you know, her defence is absolutely top of her game. And the fact that she's able to bat, you know, move away these, uh, bat away these moves. There's a right hand that she takes high to stop the kicks up to the head. She carries a very high right hand to, cover, to go up to the head. If you watch it there all the time. And that's stopping some of the head kicks coming through. Yeah. I think the Chinese player's got a good right leg. She might go high off the right leg. And she could get through there to Sanchez's left side. That might be an option. Can't go there. And Sanchez scores another point. 4-0. Still plenty of time to go. There's no need for panic here. Still a minute and a half. But with four points. And to be honest, Lee dong Hua hasn't actually even... She's got a Kyungo uh, against her opponent. But that's all so far. She looks as if she's running out of ideas a little bit here, doesn't she? Well, Look, I, I'm not sure. I don't want to say anything wrong here because <laughs> the, the American is doing brilliant to get the four-point lead, but the, the Chinese athlete there did a, a very rapid back kick. Just nearly got the axe nearly got through there as well. So I think you know, a few seconds time we're going to see a step up a gear, and if that yeah. happens, then I think the Chinese girl could get through. Yeah. If she doesn't step up, which she, she should really be doing now, which she's starting to. Yeah. 
then um, it's the Americans' game. Well, she is putting a lot of energy into these kicks. So every time Sanchez defends, Lee Dong Hua is putting in a lot of energy to every kick, and she looks as if she's tiring a little bit, I've got to say. She does look fatigued, definitely. She, she looks quite exhausted out there, the girl in red, and I think she's having a breather here deliberately just to hold on for a final onslaught. It needs to come quickly. I'd say in the next 10 seconds she starts to, she needs to start making that move. Yeah. But the American's defence might be too tight again. That right hand went to oh, stop the headshot. That, that defence. I'll tell you what, she's, uh, she's going to make a name for herself with this defence. Looking very comfortable. Tempted body shot there from Lee dong -Hua. Twenty seconds to go. Four nil. Well, the Chinese players just not speeded up at all. Lee Dong is just not going for it. Five points. Oh, and Jacqueline Sanchez picks another point up, and we're into the final ten seconds. This has been an absolutely phenomenal performance by the American. She's going to take gold here for the United States, and she does so. Five points to nil, and what a performance here! And to think that a Chinese athlete who's no mug at all, you know, she's a good athlete. You know, she got zero points, didn't get a single, single score. That was a brilliant performance by the American. It is a sign of uh, things to come, I think, from the USA. American take one has been dominated by the Lopez family for so long. And then we got two bronze medals from other athletes in London 2012. And I think the, the new direction that they're going with the new coaching staff is really having an impact. So they're keeping the best elements of the Lopez coaching methods, plus some other great coaches in there. Well, Jessica Sanchez exits the arena. She has been absolutely superb as we watch some of the highlights there.